What's good guys, this is Nightwing2303 from Wartesters.com. Welcome back to Nightwing Knows. If you ever had a question and you wanted to drop me a line, all you gotta do is shoot me an email right over here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get in the question. While we're eating. Why is Dick Grayson slash Nightwing your favorite of all the Robins? And out of all the Batman comics, which one was your personal favorite? Dick Grayson, he was the first one, period. That's the first one that I read about. That's the first one that I technically knew or got to know in the comics. So when you read a story about something or someone, you end up creating some sort of weird relationship or bond with that thing, even though it's fake. So even though that there were, you know, Jason Todd, Tim Drake, and uh, there's plenty of others. There's uh, Stephanie Brown, there's, uh, what's that girl's name? Carrie Kelly, and so on and so forth. The first one that I grew up with and reading and attached myself to was the original Dick Grayson, so that's the one that I personally love. And as you read his storylines throughout the years, he actually grew up with you, which was really interesting in my opinion, because, I mean, we have Batman who's kind of been the same all these years. He's grown up a little bit, we've had, you know, origin stories and uh, year one stories and things like that, but for the most part, Batman doesn't get old. But you've watched Dick Grayson grow up, and you've watched Jason Todd grow up and die, and then come back again as the Red Hood, and all this stuff, so these characters are just a little bit different. So while Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman have all relatively stayed the same, these sidekicks have gotten older with us, and you know, for that reason, I'm just more attached to them than any of the others. And what was the second part of the question? Now, out of all the Batman comic books that there have ever been, or storylines, there's so many that it's really hard to choose. I really enjoyed No Man's Land, and even though this isn't a Batman solo title or whatever, the Batman slash Superman combo series, at least the first three or four, you know, complete novels. Those were really awesome. Probably the one that really sticks out in my mind though, like the, the biggest one, would be the Dark Knight series and Hush. Those two are just, I don't know, man. The Dark Knight was just so epic and cool, especially back then. It was so gritty and just, I mean, it was gnarly, dude. Like back then when you're reading that, you're like, holy shit, this dude just straight broke Joker's neck. Spoiler. And then with the Hush series, I remember reading that and being like mind f***ed every other page because you didn't know what the f*** was going on. And then by the time you ended up at the ending of the story, like you were just blown away by it. Like, oh my god, it was him the whole time? Like, this is crazy. So those two just kind of stick out the most in my mind. But yeah, uh, as far as Batman goes though, pick a story, you're gonna like it. It's such an awesome character. Uh, just, you know, immerse yourself within that world. Turn everything else off when you're reading and you're gonna be good to go. Don't.